in the hazy realm of nostalgia, where black and white whispers of the past gently kiss the edges of our memory, lies a tale that swung its way into our hearts and imagination. The 1966 TV series Tarzan. Do you remember the very first time your eyes met Tarzan's jungle domain on that flickering screen? Perhaps it was the thrill of venturing into the untamed wilds, where vines became highways and danger lurked behind every rustling leaf. Close your eyes for a moment and let the echoes of your mind carry you back to those captivating moments. Can you feel the rush as Tarzan, portrayed by Ron Ely, soared through the air with the grace of a bird, his iconic call echoing through the trees? Or maybe it's the enigmatic chemistry between Tarzan and his companion, the endearing chimpanzee named Cheetah, that tugs at your heartstrings. But wait, the journey has just begun. As the sun sets on reminiscence, let's pivot to the heart of the matter, where random tidbits about this classic show await your eager mind. Picture yourself delving into surprising anecdotes that unveil the behind-the-scenes magic, the challenges faced, and the impact that Tarzan left on the cultural tapestry. So, are you ready to unearth the hidden gems about this iconic series? Let's swing into action and uncover the enchanting facts that breathe life into the legend of Tarzan. The 1966 TV series Tarzan captured the essence of Edgar Rice Burroughs' iconic character, presenting a fresh take on the jungle hero. Emerging during a period of adventure TV, the show's origins can be traced to Burroughs' novels, with the series adapting his stories for the small screen. The titular character, Tarzan, portrayed by Ron Ely, embodied the noble savage, raised by apes and connected to nature. His companions, Jane, played by actress Enid Markey, and Cheetah the Chimpanzee, added depth and humor. The show's unique style blended adventure, drama, and occasional campiness, depicting Tarzan's exploits in the African jungle as he defended it against various threats. Its lush visuals and captivating jungle backdrop brought the wild setting to life. The series significantly contributed to popular culture by reinforcing the archetypal figure of Tarzan, leaving an indelible mark on subsequent adaptations and references in film, television, and literature. Now, delving into intriguing tidbits about the show, did you know that the distinctive yell associated with Tarzan was created by Johnny Weissmuller, an earlier actor who portrayed the character in films? The series also featured guest appearances by renowned actors like James Earl Jones and Woody Strode, enriching its legacy. Furthermore, Ron Ely's commitment to the role, performing many of his stunts despite accidents, demonstrated his dedication to the character and the show's authenticity. The 1966 TV series Tarzan remains an enduring symbol of adventure and the untamed spirit of the wild. Its influence on media and portrayal of a timeless hero continues to resonate, keeping the jungle legend alive in the hearts of audiences across generations. In syndication in the 1970s, TV Guide magazine often gave a Saturday morning brief description of the plot followed with captivating insights into the world of the 1966 TV series Tarzan. Ron Ely's portrayal of the iconic jungle hero left an indelible mark on television history. Throughout the first season's demanding shoots, Ely's commitment to realism led him to perform his own stunts, resulting in a staggering 17 injuries. These ranged from singed arms and legs in a daring escape from a burning village to a lion's bite on the forehead that blurred the line between wild and tame. Ely's dedication took him down treacherous paths, falling off vines, separating shoulders, fracturing ribs, and spraining wrists, each mishap a testament to his fearless embodiment of Tarzan's spirit. This commitment resonated with audiences, who witnessed not just a portrayal, but a genuine connection between man and jungle. The legend of Tarzan was not just a role, it became a part of Ron Ely's skin, bones, and scars, forever etched in the annals of television lore. While the rest of the animals featured in the opening scenes of the 1966 TV series Tarzan are unmistakably African species, there's an intriguing departure in the form of the final creature, an elephant. Astute viewers might notice that this pachyderm sports smaller ears, a telltale sign that it belongs to the Asian elephant species. This subtle but noteworthy discrepancy adds a layer of nuance to the show's attention to detail and authenticity in its portrayal of the African jungle. However, what might seem like a minor oversight is, in fact, an interesting reflection of the complexities that production often entails. 
The creators of the series, under the leadership of Sir Weintraub, worked tirelessly to capture the essence of Tarzan's world, yet even the keenest eyes can occasionally detect these subtle variations. Such nuances remind us of the delicate balance between the grandeur of storytelling and the practicalities of bringing it to life on screen. In its commitment to crafting an immersive experience, the show went to great lengths to ensure accuracy in other aspects of its presentation. From lush landscapes to captivating characters, the Tarzan series of 1966 aimed to transport its audience to a world where the wild roared and the vines swung. While the Asian elephant's cameo may appear as a fleeting anomaly, it inadvertently symbolizes the intricacies of television production. Every element, no matter how meticulously curated, can occasionally carry a trace of unpredictability, much like the untamed jungles Tarzan himself navigated. The show's ability to capture both the grand and the minute, the expected and the unexpected, is a testament to its lasting appeal. In the vast tapestry of this iconic series, the Asian elephant stands as a reminder that perfection lies not in the absence of flaws, but in the way those flaws add depth to the narrative. And so, as we journey back to the thrilling escapades of Tarzan, we find that even the smallest details can carry a significance as grand as the jungle itself. In the rugged world of 1,966 seconds Tarzan, actor Ron Ely swung into the hearts of viewers, embodying the iconic jungle hero with a daring twist. Ely's commitment to authenticity led him to perform his own stunts, creating a thrilling spectacle that captivated audiences. However, this fearless approach came at a price. Over the course of the first season's shooting, Ely faced a whopping 17 injuries that read like a list of calamities from an action-packed script. A laundry list of misfortunes included singeing his arms and legs while sprinting through a blazing village, an encounter with a supposedly tame lion that left a bite mark on his forehead, and a heart-pounding fall down a hill that cost him the skin on the tops of his feet. The adventurous actor's escapades didn't stop there. He also plummeted 25 feet off a vine, resulting in a separated shoulder, and tumbled off another vine to break his other shoulder. Adding insult to injury, Ely managed to fracture three ribs and sprain both of his wrists during the grueling shoots. Yet despite these relentless mishaps, Ely's dedication to his role persisted, creating an unforgettable portrayal of Tarzan's daring exploits. His audacious feats and charismatic presence breathed life into the television screens, captivating a generation of fans. Decades later, in the 1970s, the show found new life in syndication, and TV Guide magazine offered succinct yet tantalizing descriptions of the plot in their Saturday morning listings. This quirky touch highlighted the enduring appeal of Tarzan, reminding viewers of the jungle's timeless allure. In the annals of television history, Tarzan stands as a testament to the power of dedication, both in front of and behind the camera. Ron Ely's relentless pursuit of authenticity and the show's enduring popularity make it a true classic, a reminder of the wild adventures that can unfold on both sides of the screen. Mismatched Elephant, a curious anomaly in the 1966 Tarzan TV series in the sprawling landscape of the 1966 TV series Tarzan, where lush forests and untamed wilderness served as a backdrop for the legendary jungle hero's adventures, a peculiar detail slipped past many a viewer's gaze. Amidst the authentic depiction of African wildlife in the opening scenes, one creature stood out, revealing an unintentional lapse in attention to detail. As the camera panned through the vibrant tapestry of Africa's fauna, showcasing various indigenous species and their natural habitat, there came a moment when a majestic elephant graced the screen. A symbol of power and grandeur, the elephant, however, betrayed its true origins. While the rest of the animals portrayed were unmistakably African in origin, lions, zebras, giraffes, and rhinos, this particular pachyderm displayed the telltale signs of the Asian elephant. The defining characteristic that sets the Asian elephant apart from its African counterpart is the size of its ears. Asian elephants are renowned for their smaller ears, in stark contrast to the larger ears of their African cousins. This subtle yet significant detail was starkly evident in the TV series opening sequence. The choice to include an Asian elephant in a show that prided itself on its attention to ecological accuracy 
and cultural authenticity raises intriguing questions. Was it a mere oversight, a result of limited resources, or a deliberate artistic choice? Did it inadvertently offer a nod to the show's limitations, or was it a whimsical wink to the keen-eyed viewers who might spot the mismatch? As with any piece of art, the interpretation remains open to speculation. Regardless of the intention, this anomalous elephant serves as a reminder of the challenges faced by filmmakers and creators in maintaining seamless realism, even in the midst of captivating narratives. So, as the Tarzan of 1966 swings through the vines, battling foes and navigating a world both familiar and fantastical, a seemingly out-of-place elephant lingers as a testament to the intricate dance between accuracy and artistic freedom. As we bid farewell to the lush jungles and daring adventures of the 1966 TV series Tarzan, I invite you to take a moment and let the vines of nostalgia swing you back to those captivating moments that intertwined with your own life. The echoes of Tarzan's distinctive call may have faded, but the imprint it left on our hearts remains vivid. Perhaps you found yourself perched on the edge of your seat, mirroring Tarzan's breathtaking leaps and fearless determination. Maybe you felt the thrill of the unknown as Tarzan navigated the uncharted territories of the wild, reflecting the untamed corners of your own dreams. Or, it's possible that the series introduced you to a world of camaraderie, and camaraderie reminding you that human connections transcend language and culture. As the credits roll, I encourage you to share the memories and musings that this timeless series has awakened within you. What were your favorite Tarzan moments? Did his spirit of adventure inspire you to explore the hidden wonders of your own surroundings? Whether it was the stunning landscapes, the mesmerizing encounters, or the lessons learned along the way, your reflections add to the rich tapestry of Tarzan's legacy. In a world that continues to evolve, the essence of Tarzan lives on as a symbol of courage, curiosity, and the undeniable bond between humanity and nature. So, as you embark on your next adventure, take a moment to remember the jungle's whispers and Tarzan's call, echoing in the depths of your soul. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane, and for sharing your own unique connection to the 1966 TV series Tarzan. Your thoughts are a testament to the lasting impact of storytelling, reminding us that even as time moves forward, the tales that touch us never truly fade away. Warmly, your name.